हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज डॉक्टर सुगेन महापात्र सेकेंड इयर पीजी रेसिडेंट फ्रॉम एसीबी मेडिकल कॉलेज एंड हॉस्पिटल कटक प्रेजेंटिंग ए पेपर इन सिटी बस 2023 आई एम प्रेजेंटिंग ए रेयर केस इंटरेस्टिंग केस द केस वाज माय द टॉपिक नेम इज मल्टीफोकल एविंग सार्कोमा क्लिनिकली मिसडायग्नोज्ड एज ट्रांसवर्स माइलाइटिस ए पिक्टोरियल रिव्यू विथ सिटी to start with we all know that uh, ewing sarcoma is the second most common childhood primary bone tumor after osteosarcoma but here we have a uh, rare case where we have uh, ewing sarcoma affecting multiple bones having uh, soft tissue expansion and a large posterior mediastinal mass arising from the paravertebral region so to start with the with some brief clinical history uh, we have 10 year old child presented with complaints of inability to walk for 2 month inability to move the both legs for 1 month fever on and off for 1 month child was apparently well 2 months back to start with he developed uh, weakness of the both lower limbs uh, gradually started inability to walk and uh, unable to move his both legs occasional fever was there child was admitted to the pediatrics department of our college and treatment was started with a provisional clinical diagnosis of transverse myelitis on routine chest x ray pa view they found a rounded uh, opacity and uh, the child was referred to us for cct thorax evaluation in cct thorax evaluation we found a soft tissue dense heterogeneously enhancing uh, mass lesion in the posterior mediastinum in the right paravertebral region with internal coarse calcification and uh, a uh, ill defined heterogeneously enhancing soft tissue dense lesion in the left scapula with adjacent bony lytic lesions with periosteal uh, speculated periosteal reaction these are the images this is the Uh, scapular image uh, left sc image uh, lesion of the left scapula and this is the huge uh, posterior mediastinal uh, mass arising from the paravertebral space uh, this is the same uh, same image uh, in cct thorax examination uh, these uh, paravertebral soft tissue lesions uh, prompted us to go for uh, abdomen cct abdomen pelvis examination because we thought of more of these lesions in abdomen and pelvis so we proceed for cct abdomen pelvis examination of the same patient and in cct abdomen contrast uh, enhanced uh, abdomen pelvis examination we found similar characteristic similar morphology lesions that is soft tissue dense lesions with uh, speculated thick periosteal reactions like sunburst appearance in right iliac bone similar lesion also we found in uh also found in the uh, uh right femur just below the greater trochanter this is the uh, lesion and uh, also we found some uh, paravertebral uh, lesions in the lower vertebra uh, which possible with which possibly encasing the both ureters causing right uh, moderate and left mild uh, hydroureter nephrosis also we found similar lesions in the presacral region with multiple lytic lesions in the vertebral body so uh, by looking all these lesions in the ct images we thought of a provisional diagnosis radiologically as multifocal ewing sarcoma and we planned for biopsy from multiple sites then samples are taken from the scapular lesion from the medestinal lesion and the right iliac bone lesion and biopsy report confirmed it to be a case of ewing sarcoma and also we performed a, a cd marker uh, marker like cd 99 which also found to be positive so these are few images we have taken from our pathology department of the same patient which uh, showing the small blue round cells and this image showing the cd 99 positivity so uh, our uh, case has been proved to be a case of multifocal ewing sarcoma uh, proven uh, in biopsy also uh, 
so to discuss few points about having sarcoma it is the second most common primary bone tumor of the childhood after osteosarcoma but in our case it is some uh, it is somewhat interesting because it has involved multiple bones with multiple soft tissue ex expansion it mainly presents as destructive moth eaten permeative lucent lesions with soft tissue expansion um, in the shaft of long bones with onion skin type of periosteal reactions age group commonly involved 10 to 20 years male female ratio is 1.5 is to 1 slightly male uh, males are more affected in our case it is also a 10 year male child so age is fitting and also sex is fitting uh, location wise lower limb femur is the most common uh, site pelvic bones in 20% cases upper limb 13% cases spine and ribs also in 13% cases skull and face in 2% cases in our case um, it all it involved the femur right femur the right iliac bone left scapula and multiple vertebra okay, with paravertebral soft tissue components clinical feature wise when it involves a single lesion uh, or single bone mainly localized pain and swelling will be there fever will be there and elevated esr will be there esr or crp will be there uh, imaging wise it is a metadiffusial or uh, diffusial tumor central or medullary in origin permeative destructive lesion with with, with a wide zone of transition soft tissue extension will be there hair on end or speculated periosteal reaction is a specific feature of this tumor multilamellar onion skin peritoneal uh, periosteal reaction may be seen and codman's triangle is also seen in 25 to 27% of cases these lesions uh, will be seen both in uh, x rays and uh, ct but ct will uh, depict all these lesions uh, in a better manner and in case of marrow involvement we will uh, we can proceed for mri so to go with uh, differential diagnosis we can uh, uh, take osteosarcoma as a differential diagnosis then osteomyelitis langren cell histiocytosis stress fractures and neuroblastoma if it is a case of less than 5 years of age then we can uh, i can uh, show the uh, images of this uh, in, a, in the study i can show so this is the uh, this is the study this is the this is the cct abdomen and uh, cct thorax uh, study this is the uh, mediastinal uh, posterior mediastinal lesion possibly arising from the vertebra paravertebral uh, uh, soft tissue of the uh, lesion here these are the soft tissue uh, lesion of the scapula left scapula and this is cct abdomen pelvis exam uh, study here we can see the uh, uh, hair on end appearance or sunburst appearance uh, speculated periosteal reaction in the right iliac uh, bone also these uh, lesions uh, we can um, uh, see in the femur also here right femur uh, just below greater trochanter here also in the presacral region Thank you.